Welcome back to Forest Education, this is Ed. Today, we're talking once more about Camber Energy. Based on my Twitter polls, a lot of people have requested it, so I'm going to be giving a quick update. So if you haven't heard about Camber Energy, Camber Energy is a company that has different acquirings uh, in relation to where it's clean energy, or for instance, like this one here, the renewable uh, diesel facility. They also wear a part of pumps and dumps due to just different uh, quote unquote financial influencers trying to push this one and then selling at the top. Uh, there are a few things to take care of. I mean, this is kind of a very typical pump and dump kind of feature. Uh, but nonetheless, we're not going to approach it from just pump and dumps and kind of just brush it off. But we're going to give it a great chance into seeing the company's uh, strength. So first off today. Camber Energy markedly improves terms of existing notes. So there's just some improvements there uh, for the notes itself, perhaps to sell more of these notes. Uh, some of them are maturity of January 1, 2027. That is the one in interest. And interest rate is the Wall Street Journal prime rate with interest payable of maturity. And they are convertible at $1.50 per share. Now, they also had another one on December 27th. Camber signs financing agreement to extinguish 46% of outstanding preferred stocks. So for this one, again, it's kind of a similar thing that you've seen for January 3rd. So nothing significant there, um, just for the investor side in terms of different news. And on December 21st, 2021, ISS and Glass Lewis recommended Camber Energy shareholders vote in favor of the proposed increase in authorized common shares. I did talk about this one before. They're trying to increase their common shares from 250 million to around 1 billion shares. That kind of gives you a dilution um, of at least basically one to four, uh, which is not really good in its own, and it's bound to decrease the stock price. Now, the special meeting was held on December 30th, 2021. The results of that uh, were pretty simple. I do have it in terms of SEC filings, but it basically have gone forward and passed. So you're able to see um, everything here has seemed to be passed. For instance, right here, right on the top, it does talk about the common shares and the approval from 250 million to 1 billion votes for were a lot more than votes against. Now, this brings in kind of a couple of dilemmas. First off, uh, the shares will most likely drop in price as I do anticipate they're going to be raising more money with that 1 billion shares. Why would they increase the shares by four times if they're not going to release a bunch of offerings? Now, the current right market cap is around 50 million so anticipate that to kind of remain the same and so your price point is most likely going to at least perhaps go one fourth so you're probably going to be trading trading somewhere closer to around the 50 cent mark and with that you're going to be expecting perhaps a reverse split they have tried to move on and mention things like renewable diesel facilities, uh, carbon capture systems, and they are trying their best. It does cause a little bit of spikes here and there, but at this current point, it does seem with this news that they're more on a downtrend ever since October 18th. You get to see this line and it is looking on point to go on for a reverse plate sometime in the future, especially if they raise uh, some offerings, which I do anticipate they will. Now, back into the NYSE of America, the New York Stock Exchange of America, or American, my bad, there was some discrepancies in their filings that they fired already their accountants for, and they're fixing, so there's nothing much to talk about there. In terms of their fundamentals, there are significant things to take a look at, such as the key statistics. Their profitability of last year was negative 1,445%, Net profit margin is negative 13,109. What does this tell you? Well, if their return on investment capital is around negative 1,000% and return on assets is negative 167%, their cash, they, I mean, they have some cash, but they burn through it quite a lot. The price over sales is around 775. With everything they're giving, they're going to raise more shares, the 1 billion shares, going to go into offering, it's going to beat the stock price quite down they're gonna hit it with a reverse split after losing the nasdaq compliance gaining compliance and going on and raising more money for survivability survival of the company itself this is not kind of a thing just to line up their pockets i mean a part of it is but at the end of the day the company will need to do what they have to do to stay in business at the expense sometimes of shareholders 
If you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave vacations on. Don't forget to drop a like and let's move on towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis perspective, there are things that are a bit less interesting, like the moving averages for this one. They're all declining downwards, but there's not much of a pulse to this one at this point. Uh, it is going a bit of a downtrend, sliding up a little. Daisy gets 6% down, but it's really trading between more of two boundaries, the 120 and the 75 cents. Volatility is still significant in terms of percentage wise, but historically, it is a little bit on a rut. But anyway, ADX doesn't show either kind of strength in either movement directions. Only percent R, which is very similar to the RSI, is sitting smack right in the middle of the neutral. It's neither overbought or oversold. The MACD is sitting closer to the zero level. Very kind of not really any attention towards a positive or a negative kind of reversals. Just very neutral, right on the middle, and momentum is negative 0.19 stable and not moving really in either direction so it does show that it's more of a snooze fest even though it hits six percent today now stochastic fast and stochastic slow suggest there might be another another potential or just a potential for another uh, rise in price now the moving average bands are slowly going downwards and that's a dangerous thing they're not really pushing up forward uh, as we wish it to or upwards in that sense but the stock is a little bit lacking in strength in either direction. Now, in terms of Fibonacci retracements, there is a few resistances, 140, 206, 259, 312, and 388. The support is at 33 cents at Fibonacci retracements. But taking out a price line action, we're able to see a significant support at 84 cents, 74, 52, going down to 46, and 33 resistances. There are a few, we got 94, and then 110, 119, going to 140, going up higher to 154, and then 183, higher to 231, 273, 312, 345, and 485. Now, it really comes to the question, Ed, what do you think is going to happen here? Well, I honestly think that this is all going to repeat itself. Again, um, raising money, split, and then drops back, split again, and it's painfully most likely going to be following the same thing especially that they've raised the number of shares from 250 million to 1 billion shares that is critical why do you think they're raising that it is signaling into an offering coming because of them burning a lot of cash and that is a dangerous sign to be in and it might be time to jump ship off now i'm not really into short selling that kind of thing uh, this current time of my trading periods but all i'm saying is that this has many red flags at this point and just don't marry into the stock or else you'll be stuck and you're not gonna like your offsprings what do you think about this sticker make sure to down in the comments below share subscribe and like and have a wonderful day now if you're still here on this video make sure to drop down below and join our discord we have a lot of different things going on including for instance members that gives picks for free it's not pump and dumps we just things we think about swings etc we also have really exciting bots uh, you can actually use those ones for instance we're just testing out this bot for instance that gives you fibonacci resistance points activities etc and we have a bunch of free things totally free we run on tips here and you can ask me questions suggest stocks etc it's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel free to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day